Today's video, I'm showing you guys how to catch a Cloud Nibbler in Prodigy, and let me show you guys how to catch this awesome pet. So as many of you guys may know, a Cloud Nibbler is basically an electric type pet. It evolves into the Cloud Gobbler, so without further ado, let's start teaching you guys how to get it. So right, the first thing which you guys will need to do is you'll just need to have access to Skywatch. That's literally all you need to do. First thing which you guys will need to do is you guys will need to follow this arrow all the way. Right, so you guys see this arrow, you want to head to the side over here. And now what you guys want to do is you want to battle this monster but skip this monster battle, right? So I will be showing you guys how to skip this monster battle in a few seconds. Alright guys, so basically you guys can see the Cloud Nibbler basically looks like a whale except it's recolored to a blue and yellow image and it has two horns on its head. Right, so the in-game description says, due to their floating shape and size, Cloud Nibblers are often mistaken for balloons floating among the clouds. Now guys, at level 35, the Cloud Nibbler evolves into Cloud Gobbler, right? So you guys got that much information. Now, the places where you can find it and catch it are in Skywatch or Shipwreck. Sure, in Skywatch, I'm showing you guys the fastest way to get it, right? So the only way you can get this is by rescuing it, it's by rescuing it, and at level 100, it has 12,295 health, right? Alright guys, so now it's time for your guys' information hour where you learn what the Cloud Nibbler is. So right, first of all, let's tell you guys the description of the Cloud Nibbler. Due to that description, you guys can probably tell it's a storm type pet. And now over here, you guys can see when I'm trying to sneak past it, what you guys want to do is you want to go up on the top and head down. Now due to the description given to us about the Cloud Nibbler, you guys can obviously tell that it is a drum roll, please. It is a storm type pet. Right, so now the places where this can be found is Skywatch or Shipwreck Shore. Now I'd recommend you guys go into Skywatch and find it because that's the easiest way. Alright guys, so basically like all of the other pets, it can cast 4 spells, it will cast 2 electric spells, and then 2 spells of another type, right? So I'll show you guys what those 2 spells of another type are pretty soon. You guys just have to stick around for the rest of this video. And another thing is, if you guys look at the version of this, and then look at the old version, it seems like this version of the Cloud Nibbler might be based off a baby Narval. Now you guys may or may not know what a Narval is, it's basically like, yeah I have no idea how to explain it either, is that when you look at the resemblance of the Cloud Nibbler and a Narval, you guys can see that the description is pretty close, right? You guys can see, it looks like it's a baby Narval. Now guys, one of the easiest way to catch this pet is by bounties, but this is a much faster way, and you guys always never know when a bounty for this pet is gonna come up. So basically, you have to be on your toes if you want a bounty for this guy. Now over here, you guys can see the updated version of the Cloud Nibbler, and then over here, you guys can see the old sprite of it, the old swinging animation, and the old attack animation. If you guys ask me, the old attack animation was... a little bit weird, like... What were they thinking while making the old attack animation? Other than that, everything else of it looked nice. Now let's tell you guys the information about the Cloud Gobbler, which it evolves into. Right guys, so you've battled the monster up over here. Now what you guys need to do is you just need to sneak around the corner and head over here, right? Bam, there you guys go. Now you guys are over here. And oh my gosh, do you guys see that? I literally just came over here and bam, straight over there, there is a Cloud Nibbler. Right, there you guys go, bam, straight away, Cloud Nibbler, nothing else, this is like pure luck guys. So basically what you guys need to do is you need to come to this area, and if a Cloud Nibbler does not appear in that spot, all you guys need to do is you just need to keep on hitting the refresh button until a Cloud Nibbler appears, right? So it's that easy. Now the evolution of this is a Cloud Gobbler, it basically looks like Sensei Vu, it has almost all of the same appearance as the guy. Now, its strengths and weaknesses are exactly the same, it may have a different thing on it, but that's all. Its base health is at 592, so is with the Cloud Nibbler. And yeah, let's go into battle 
We'll talk about the cloud gobbler in a later video, but first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up catching ourselves a cloud nibbler. It was that easy, guys. Did you guys see that? I just came over here, and the cloud nibbler decided to appear. So why not? Let's catch it. Now, in order to catch it, you just you just have to murder the monster that spawned in over here. It's super easy. Just murder the monster that spawned in over here and continue forward. Plus, you can skip half of the monster battles here, so it's even better. So now, over here... We've been waiting for this movement to battle. Alright guys, here we go. We're finally into battle against the Cloud Nibbler. And oh my gosh, as you guys can see, over here there are two Cloud Nibblers. Bam, there you guys go. As you saw, I casted my spell on the Cloud Gobblers and they both struck back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast my spell once again and they should be defeated hard enough so I can easily beat them. Oh wow, bunga! Another spell has been casted on the entire enemy team. And now, we should be dealing a decent amount of damage to lower all of their health to extremely low. As you guys can see over here, the Cloud Nibbler is almost dead, the second Cloud Nibbler is almost dead, and the Dreamlet is almost dead. Right, so this battle is going pretty well. Let's rescue ourselves with the Cloud Nibbler and use it in a battle to show you guys what it has. So you just answered our question correct, and now we are rescuing ourselves a Cloud Nibbler, so I can say I've gotten another pet in... I can say another pet back to my pet book, so there we go. Let's click that next next button and let's rescue this Cloud Nibbler and then the Dreamlet. Yeah, let's do that quickly. I'm gonna rescue all of the pets over here. Dun dun dun! The Cloud Nibbler survived with a thousand health. I'm gonna catch it. Another Cloud Gobbler has been. Oh wait, no. Another Cloud Nibbler has been added to our team. Now all we need to do is just catch a dreamlet. Bam! There we go, we just got another accomplishment and now we're finally gonna be able to rescue ourselves a dreamlet and two cloud nibblers. Right, that is pretty swell if you guys ask me. Two cloud nibblers and a dreamlet. Mission accomplished. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you guys the attack set of the dreamlet and the, the, the attack set of the nibblers and that's all. I'm just gonna show you guys the attack moveset of the Cloud Nibbler, and that is all! Right, let's collect all of our chest stuff over here. And now, let's equip ourselves our two new Cloud at the same level. Bam. Bam. And move one in front, and show you guys how good these pets are. Bam! Brawl has spawned! Let's murder this Brawl! Alright, let's cast the spell Ion Cannon first of all. Now, over here, you guys can see that's four spells. It has Ion Cannon, Unlimited Power, and then it will unlock the spell Down Portal or Tornado. It will unlock the spell Torrento or uh, what do you call it? Now next what it will do is it will unlock a 3 person water spell along with a 1 person ice spell. Right so let's cast the spell Ion Cannon first of all. BAM! Ion Cannon is being casted by Mr. Monster Pet Dude Guy. Yeah this guy just casted the spell Ion Cannon and murdered the Brel. Well not exactly murdered but we did more damage. Next let's cast the spell Unlimited Power and uh, you know what let's just cast all that attack. Kawabunga! Here we go guys, we're casting our spell, and can we take a moment to look at that attack animation? Yeah, there you guys go, you saw that attack animation, it was pretty cool. Seems like both Cloud Nobblers turned their head backwards and spin forward with a fiery mane going around them, so that's cool, very nice. And now over here seems like both of our Cloud Nibblers received 21 stars. And there you guys go, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and figured out how to catch yourselves a Cloud Nibbler and actually caught one. And guys, do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button and liking this video so more people can get themselves these cool pets and your friends can be legends along with you. Alright, so that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will be catching you all next time. Until then...